my mother moved and she had all my work from when I was six and seven in a folder. And I'm looking through it you know, up, up until the age of 15 and I'm, I'm seeing uh, city after city after city. And I, I loved painting buildings and architecture and working cities and trying to make them work with bridges and shopping malls even. And uh, I decided, yeah, you know what? I'm going to paint some cities. And that's what I started to do, was to build cities and put people in the cities as if the cities were stages for the people to act out whatever plays they were acting out. And because that's essentially what we're doing. We're, we find ourselves in an environment we can either be in context or out of context. We can fight our environments. We can be bizarre in our environment, or we can be just a piece of the furniture, a part of the wall. So I'm, I'm happy, you know. I live in a capitalist society where some, some psychiatrist likes my work and buys it. Well, we're going to need one of these psychologists to figure that out, but. I just place giants in, in scenes where you would not expect to see them and automatically you have a dilemma. And I like painting dilemmas. I like painting the moment before you have to make a decision. Where it can go this way or it can go that way. I have a painting called Attention Walmart Shoppers. The painting is, there's a big baby, I don't know if the baby was created by an evil German scientist or or just was born to a family of giants that live in the hills and the baby crawls his way down to uh, to the suburbs and finds himself in a Walmart shopping plaza and like all babies when they see cars which to a baby to a giant baby regular cars appear to be toys I put him in a mouth and chewing them up and throwing them down but unlike toys these cars are on fire and there's smoke and the fire engine has arrived and is trying to put out the fire and the police have arrived with their weapons in case the baby starts killing people and on the other side you have people who are going into the Walmart and coming out with huge plush toys trying to take the, the baby's attention away from destroying destroying things around him, maybe quelling his anger or, or insanity with toys and appealing to his better nature. And that's where I leave you. There's cars that are destroyed. You have the police ready with their weapons. You have a helicopter flying in to film the whole thing. And um, you have the people who are trying to appease the child with huge plush animal toys. I don't know what's going to happen. It's not reality. It doesn't really matter what's going to happen. But as a viewer of this bit of fiction, it makes you think. If only for a moment, it makes you think of what direction is this going to go. And that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to provide you with the dilemma. Hopefully it looks amazing. And... I want the technique to get you, I want the image to get you, and I want you to think about what's happening.